Hi, my name is John Silver, I'm a professional artist and today I'm going to give you a quick guided tour around my little studio. Okay, we start here. This is uh, just a shelving rack I've got with paintings that I've completed and paintings that I've yet to do with some boards that I've prepared. And uh, I'll be showing you on another video how to prepare boards and how to also transfer images down onto the canvas. Uh, we've got lots of paints and mediums. And over here we've got uh, a lot of brushes. This is just some of the brushes I have. I, uh, I never throw brushes away, so even if they're worn and old, keep them because they might might just come in useful. And this is the area where all the magic happens. These are the uh, current brushes I'm using for painting, some of them. Uh, some others over here. Uh, down below we have the palette with the colours. I don't, generally I'm using very, very basic colours. Ultramarine, Burnt Umber, Cadmium Red or Vermilion and cadmium yellow and some white in this case it's Michael Harding warm white lead white alternative and a little bit of perhaps liquid or liquid impasto just to speed up the drying of the white underneath the palette I have two buckets of thinners and it's not it's not terps it's um, it's an alternative to terps a low odor so one's a dirty water, one's clean. Clean your brushes in that one, wipe it off, and then wash them in this one. And I have my general oil paints that I'm, I'm using again at hand. These are the brushes of my, my, I generally use most of the time. I keep them on here so they're ready to hand and easy to keep clean. These are softer brushes with the, that you can splay the hairs on, which are very, very useful and for, for small, fine details. And then we have the bristle brushes. Note, cheap Chinese bristle brushes. They are brilliant. You don't need to buy expensive brushes. And then the easel, which I have permanently set at a permanent height uh, for sitting down. Sometimes I stand and paint, so I will raise the easel sufficiently to be red eye level. Cleaning cloths, kitchen roll, and a maul, a maul stick. Now this is a, a double length maul stick but I've taken the other half off because I'm from doing small paintings I don't need a large stick, just a small one will do. Over here under this desk I have some acrylic paints so when the mood takes me I wish to do some acrylic painting it's all there ready and I'm waiting. Acrylics a lot easier to uh, to keep everything clean with acrylics. It's just water, much easier. But they have their good points and their bad points. They dry a bit too quickly for me. I love oil paint. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining me in my little studio. I uh, hope you enjoyed looking round, and uh, looking forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.